Man makes the mistakes, and mistakes make the man. You and I were born to make mistakes. By virtue of being human, it's in our DNA. But as we like to say in Kenya, me, I was born special. <laughs> have you ever made a huge mistake in your life? If you have, say I. Now count all those eyes and multiply them by a factor of 2 to the power of 87.5 times infinity squared. That's how many mistakes I've made in my life. You see, Thomas Edison tried 10,000 times before he finally made the light bulb. I've made 10,000 mistakes and I still haven't had my light bulb moment. <laughs> you all know Mark Zuckerberg? That's me with mistakes. Only if I had my own social media site, it would be called Mistake Book. <laughs> you know Steve Jobs? Yeah. That's me, with mistakes. Only my name would be Steve Can't Get a Job. <laughs> but I wasn't always like this. Maybe the reason for all my mistakes began long before I was born. Nine months, to be precise. You see, by mistake, my parents told me that I was a mistake. But they kept me, thank God for that. <laughs> the night before I was born, my father was having a party at my house, his house. <laughs> the drinks were flowing, the music was thumping, everyone was having a good time. In fact, they slept at 2 a.m., but I would have none of it. By 5 a.m., my mother's water broke. She turned over in bed and tapped my father and said, George, it's happening. We need to go now. My father must have thought he was dreaming because he mumbled in his sleep, hmm, it's okay, we'll go in the morning. The baby can wait. My mother yelled at the top of her lungs, the whole neighborhood woke up. He got into the car, my father, poor guy, drunk as a skunk. He got in, we all got in. <laughs> and at 7 a.m., I was born. The man who makes the mistakes had been made. <laughs> Fast forward a few more years to when I was six years old. And I had this peculiar fear of turning off the bathroom light. Now to explain this fear, we have to go back to the village in India. You see, in the village, the toilet or the bathroom is a distance away from the main house. Now in case you're wondering why, it's because if things go badly in the toilet, the house is safe. But the problem with India is we have these huge cockroaches. And they're no ordinary cockroaches. They're special. They can fly. <laughs> so I used to take my shower in the corner of the bathroom, praying that the cockroach decides not to fly today. And when I was done, I used to switch off the light and make a dash for the main house. Now I imported this fear to Kenya. When I used to take a shower, I used to do it in my parents' bathroom. I finish off, dry myself off, switch off the light and run into the parents' bedroom, across the hallway, and into my room. Now one day, I was following the standard protocol. <laughs> I finished my shower, I dried myself off, I switched off the light, and I ran, naked as a jaybird, <laughs> into a room full of ladies. <laughs> my mother's friends. Halfway through the run, I noticed all these eyes staring at me, confused and amused. <laughs> this made me run even faster. I reached the door, but to my shock, it was locked. I made a U-turn and ran back into the bathroom, the dark bathroom. You see, I'd much rather face the monsters in there than the ones out here. <laughs> Needless to say, after that day, my fear of cockroaches, dark bathrooms, and monsters disappeared. Fast forward a few more years to when I was 13 years old. And like many boys that age, I had to face the knife. You all know what that means? If you don't, you'll have to Google it, because the rules prevent me from explaining any further. <laughs> the surgical procedure was done, and I was taken home to rest with nothing but a kikoi to cover me. Unfortunately, that day, we had guests. <laughs> Even more unfortunate, they had a daughter my age. You see, my parents told her parents that I had faced the knife, but they didn't tell her because she's a child. 
She happily skipped into the room, ready to play hide and seek as usual, not knowing that that day I would rather just hide and not be sought. <laughs> she came closer. I said, stop. She said, why? I said, because I, uh, I, uh, I have a flu and I don't want you to get it. She said, oh, that's so sweet, Matthew. <laughs> to my relief, she left the room. Not to my relief, I heard her say to her parents in the next room, mom, dad, I think he got it from me. I had the same thing last week, but now it's gone. <laughs> Needless to say, her parents never came visiting a long time after that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these three stories tell you why I'm like this, full of mistakes, more than the ordinary person. Have you made a huge mistake in your life that you were hung up on? Well, I'm here to tell you that it happens to all of us, but you come out of it a better person. It's also okay to laugh at yourself. Because if you don't laugh at yourself, people will laugh at you. If you do laugh at yourself, people will laugh with you, like you're laughing with me. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, I invite you, take off the towel, take off the kikoi, and let's make mistakes, and let's laugh at them. Because man makes the mistakes, and mistakes make the... Yeah. Mr. Conscious Chair. Thank you.